but I've already shuffled and I also pulled two oracle cards for your recent past. They are the two cards to the very far left side of the screen. Then I'll go through the present time. How the person you're dealing with, how they see you, how you see them, and why it's all happening. So Capricorn, in the recent past, we have calling your soulmate. And this card, it reads your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. And calling your soulmate is paired with compassion. Now compassion, it reads on the flip side of this card to be grateful with yourself or to be gentle with yourself. You are a magnificent soul. So in the recent past, you were probably wishing or hoping for a great connection. Or either you were in a relationship and you were hoping that it would grow. So you wanted something more meaningful in your life. Like I said, it could have been with the person you were involved with or you wanted to uh, invite a new soulmate type of love into your life. But it was, it was important for you at that time in the recent past to be gentle with yourself because you could have been too hard on yourself, um, probably negative thinking. So you needed to probably free your free your mind from any thoughts that would have kept you from bringing in your soulmate. So you knew that prayers, affirmation, visualization, all those things would have helped you call in the soulmate. But um, compassion, that was very important because it looks like you could have been holding on to some type of negativity just by looking at this card. So you had to let some things go. And then you knew, you knew that your soulmate would come in or that you would have a better chance of, of um, having your soulmate come towards you. So that's what we have for the recent past, Capricorn. Now let's move on down and take a look at the present time. We have Emperor and Hermit. Now the Emperor, it's about domination over mind, over the mind, over the heart, which is sometimes necessary even though it's not wanted. In fact, this should be welcomed and that is what you need to think about when this card appears. Because when hard choices must be made, it's important to maintain your concentration and focus. So the Emperor, it signals this, but it also signals that now is a time that you'll find it easier to make hard choices. So enjoy the assertiveness, enjoy the confidence, and the self-control that this focus is going to bring you in the month of March. Make sure you forge ahead, move ahead, and do what you know is best. Because if you can master yourself, then you should have very little problems mastering most of the other obstacles that life could throw at you in March. When the Emperor talks about love and relationships, you could find yourself falling for someone who's older than you. Now this person, they'll probably be very organized type of person, maybe logical, logical and I'm just attracted to, well, they're probably stable. Yeah, they're a stable type of person. And um, keep in mind, this attraction, it may not be mutual from the very beginning. But if you're patient and persistent, it's going to grow. Remember, fireworks at the beginning, they're all well and good, but... Ask yourself how long do fireworks actually last in a life or for a life or in a relationship because we all know a slow burning connection will far likely to outlast the fireworks. So that is the emperor for your present time and it's 
paired with this hermit card. Now the hermit, it's a, this could be a spiritual time for you. Uh, the hermit card could have some something to do with institutions, large organizations, everything from a bank to an entire Christian church. Just like the, the strength card, you may be in a more frame of mind that you want some time alone. Don't hesitate to take it if this is what you're thinking, if this is how you're feeling. Even if it's just a five-minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head, this is also a card about trying hard to do the right thing. Just make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what is right for you personally and not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. And when this hermit card talks about love and relationships, it's possible that a romance, someone from your past may want to return. They may want to rekindle a connection with you. Now, you're going to have to ask yourself, is this what you really want? It seems that romantic relationships, they're not currently a priority for you at this time. If your head is telling you that you want nothing more than a romantic relationship, look at your behavior. Does it align with that analysis? That's a question you should ask yourself. In a committed relationship, um, if that's what you're in at this time, you two may have been moving in different directions for a while. So make sure to make time and effort to stay connected in order to keep the sparks alive. So that explains the Hermit card. And the Emperor card is with your present time also. And basically what these two cards are saying for the present time for March because this is a March reading it's saying that um, with this emperor card you could be dealing with someone who's a boss type of person a, a leader type of person probably arrogant and it's hard for them to um, they don't want to express their vulner vulnerabil vulnerability. They don't want to be seen as vulnerable. So they use their head over their heart if you're dealing with someone. Or this could be you, Capricorn. Um, so this is going to cause you to want to go into hermit mode just to clear your mind and get rid of some baggage yeah because uh, uh, something or someone is not really opening up like I said someone is using their head so it's causing you to to want to think for yourself and for you to do this, you, it's, it looks like you just want to spend some time alone. So like I said, this emperor type of person could be you. Or this could be someone coming towards you or someone that, you are, that you're already dealing with. But you need to clear your mind and it could be from this type of person. And that's what we have for the present time. Now let's move on down and take a look at how they view you. The person that you're dealing with, they see you as the Four of Cups and the Six of Cups. Now the Four of Cups, to explain it, because you know I like to explain my cards, so you just have to bear with me please. Four of Cups, it's about wishful thinking. It, it, it warns us to basically remember to pay attention to what is now and count your many blessings. And don't worry too much about what could be. Because we all know it's very easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. So be sure that you are counting your blessings and don't spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away. 
because a lot of life has to do with where we put our focus. So put your focus on things and people in your life that you have to be thankful for. When this fourth cup talks about love and relationships, it's important to take a hard look at yourself as to whether you're being realistic with regards to love. Do you have your heart set to the exclusion of everyone else? On someone who isn't giving you much back or who is quite literally unavailable? Those are two questions you should ask yourself at this time. So you need to be, ask yourself, are you being realistic with a certain love situation when you get this Four of Cups? Now, this is um, the person. This is how they see you, like this Four of Cups. They see you as probably wishing the relationship was more than it is. And you're not really looking at what it has to offer, but you, you probably, they see you as wanting more out of this connection. Now, because it's paired with this Six of Cups, which is a card that indicates a relationship needs to be refocused towards the future. So, it's about talking about your goals and dreams and trying new things. It's important not to stay stuck in the past when you get this Six of Cups. On occasions, this card could signify the reappearance of an old lover, someone from the past, an ex. While this is kind of turning out to be a past person reading. Because we talked about a past person in the present time. Looks like someone's wanting to come back. Someone could be thinking about you, Capricorn, from your past. If you're not dealing with a past person. So like I said, the Six of Cups. Before you uh, let invite this past person back, you're going to need to think long and hard before restarting an old romance. Because we all know exes are exes for a reason. But the Six of Cups is about someone from your past reappearing. An ex, an ex has you on their mind. I'm feeling it really strong. Because like I said, it's, it's heavy in this reading. So, um, but the person that you're dealing with now, like I said, they see you as this Four of Cups. You're wishing the connection was more or different in some kind of way. And you're not being thankful for how for what it is at this time. So, they also see you as possibly looking back on how this connection used to be with the Six of Cups. Or you just too focus on the happy times of this connection and not focused enough on um, the reality of it because uh, the relationships have good and bad times. So you're too focused on just looking back, you're stuck in the past about this connection. That's how they see you, how it used to be. Yeah, because Six of Cups is about nostalgia. So, they could also see you maybe thinking about someone from your past or something from the past. They see you holding on to, and it's they see it in, in an unhealthy way, causing a problem for the for the connection. And you're doing too much wishful thinking. So once again, that's how they see you. Let's move on down and take a look at how you see them. Now you see them as this Nine of Cups and the Chariot. Now the Nine of Cups is the most is one of the most uplifting cards. Ple a very pleasant card to get in a reading. It's known as a wish card. It can mean that what you're hoping for, dreaming about, is going to be yours in a brief period of time. This card, it usually is important of happiness, good things to come about. 
right? Good things to come. It usually means that what you want is likely to come into being in your life. If you're asking a yes or no type of question, this card is one of the most powerful indicators of yes. It's a yes. But like everything else in the tarot, it could go either way. But this this nine of cups, like I said, it's a wish card. Now is the time to make a wish because it's going to be yes. It's going to be a yes. Now, when this nine of cups talks about love and relationships, Uh, this is a good card for love, for your love life. If you're already in a relationship, it's possible that it'll, it'll deepen and become better and sweeter. If you're single Capricorns, if we've got some single Capricorns listening, uh, have conversations with people that you meet uh, without being married to. Have conversations with strangers because there could be potential outcomes at this time with this Nine of Cups. The ideal now is to have fun. Just remember that. Now, this is how you see the person that you're dealing with. You see them as a nine of cups. Uh, you see them as blessed and satisfied in this connection. Um, you see this connection, you see them as uh, the relationship has become deeper, sweeter. Uh, you see them as um, content and happy. Yeah. Now you also see them as this chariot. Now the chariot it's about going too far too fast. Uh, or someone could be pressuring you that way. Either way, communicate as best as you can about your boundaries and preferences. And be honest with yourself about the possibilities. If you are not interested in a relationship with someone who you know clearly wants one with you, the kindest thing you can possibly do is to let them know that you're just not interested. Because the short-term anger, hurt, or pain that this may cause is going to benefit everyone in the long run. So, you also see them as this chariot. You see them as probably pushing you too far, too fast for something. Uh -huh. You see them as probably wanting to go to the next level too fast because like I said the Knight of Cups is a wish card and you see them as um, being happy overall with this connection but there's something that they, they're pushing you to do too, too fast faster than you wanted to to go so you know what that is but they're in a rush for something and it looks like you probably wanted to slow down but you basically uh, you see them as like I said blessed and satisfied with this nine of cups but there's something that you see them wanting to just charge in about something that some type of situation or something that they're hoping for possibly because a chariot is about hopes and dreams uh wanting to charge in it's with it's about a directed and controlled energy so there's something that they they have planned and you see them wanting to just go with the plans really fast and you think it's too far too fast so they could be pressuring you that way but that's how you see them but overall happy but it's something that they they just want to charge in about 
or just take it out take it on really fast and um, once again that's how you see them person you're dealing with it's pair yeah the chariot and the nine of cups how you see them now let's move on down and take a look at why it's all happening now we have justice and eight of cups for why it's happening now the justice it's about karma and law of cause and effect it's important to remember that not everything you're dealing with is a direct result of your own actions or karma sometimes you could be called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone that you care about so make sure at this time you don't blame yourself unnecessarily also keep in mind Capricorns if you're involved in a court case at this time or in March it's likely to be resolved at least in a large degree in your favor when this justice it, call, it talks about love and relationships uh, if you're asking a question whether you or your partner will stay together when you get this card the answer is that you'll probably likely choose to go your separate ways on the other hand if you're single this will be a time when commitment could come your way soon so stay clear about what you want most from a relationship and you're likely to find it that much sooner so why it's all happening is because of justice there's some type of clarity and truth that's being brought to this connection or someone could be thinking that they have the right to do so with some situation or something. Now, it's also happening because the Eight of Cups. Now, the Eight of Cups, when it talks about love and relationships, it's about deciding that a long-term relationship is going to end or some type of situation it's going to end. If you're sure about this and and um, you don't want it to come to an end or if you're just sure that it's going to come to an end put it that way don't wait for the right time because there's never a good time to tell someone that the relationship needs to be over but don't jump into a new relationship right away give yourself some time so it's all happening because there's, like I said, there's with the Justice card, there's some clarity and truth that has been brought to light. And it could be, there could be certain situations that happen in this relationship. And this person, or it could be you, Capricorn, you, you kind of tend to think that you have the right to do so with this Justice card. Could be your person always thinking that they had the right to do it. Or it, it could be you. But... Either way it goes, there's some type of clarity, some, some type of truth that has been um, brought to the forefront. And because it's with this Eight of Cups, it's causing uh, someone to probably want to walk away. Leave behind this situation, this connection. Someone probably wants to withdraw, retreat from this connection and move on. So someone could be feeling abandoned with this Eight of Cups. Because with justice, something has been brought to light. And someone's thinking that they had the right to do so. With whatever it was, whatever the situation is, whatever it was. But that's what those two cards are about for why it's all happening. So Capricorn, I hope you enjoy this reading. There's going to be a link below of the extended of this reading. That way, I'll go through how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario, and what's going to happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? If I don't get a chance to do the extended, there's always a link for personal readings in the description box below. I just want to say thank you so very much for watching. Please comment, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, that way you'll get notified when I post my next reading. I hope that um, your 2020 is going well, 
and I hope March is a beautiful month for, for you. And once again, I just want to say thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Day.